How's everyone doing? It's your boy, Big D, bringing you my 2016 Eagles season recap. Now, here's how I'm going to do this. I will start off by talking about this past off season, and then I'll talk a little bit about the draft and some of the changes we've made throughout, and then get into each regular season game. Now, starting to begin, we actually fired Chip Kelly before the season ended with one game left. Thank God, man, because that guy was terrible, dude. Chip Kelly was a cancer to this team the whole time, but we're not here to talk about him. We're here to talk about who's here now, about who we got. I believe Jeffrey Lurie said that one of the reasons he fired Chip Kelly is so he can get a head start on the coaching search. He fired him early so he could do that. Um, so cool. But the coaching, the coaching search, it boiled down to guys like Lovey Smith, Adam Gase, Tom Coughlin, maybe Doug Marone and Doug Peterson. Me personally, I wanted I wanted either Hugh Jackson or Lovey Smith. We it ultimately it, it came down to we wanted Adam Gase originally, we interviewed him, but then he went straight to Miami. And then it came down to two left, Doug Peterson or Tom Coughlin. Coughlin and Peterson both interviewed Coughlin, he ultimately didn't get the job. We ultimately gave it to Peterson. I was livid. I was not very happy. I was pissed. I'll admit that right now. I was one of the many fans that really was pissed after this happened. Because I wanted Hugh Jackson. And Hugh Jackson ultimately went to sorry-ass Cleveland. And there was a rumor. They said that the reason why we didn't give the job to Tom Coughlin is... When he interviewed us, all he really did was talk about how he was done dirty by the Giants and how he wanted to just get back at them for forcing him to retire. So we ultimately went with Doug. He brought in offensive coordinator Frank Reich. We brought in Jim Schwartz. Frank Reich, he, he's a bum. He got fired by San Diego. Jim Schwartz, he's proven to be have... He's had top 10 defenses many times in the past. I was very happy about us getting him. And we kept Dave Phipp. But that's about it. As far, that's the, Those are the major coaching changes we've made. But as far as the players' changes we've made, we cut Riley Cooper a day after the Super Bowl. I'm kind of 50-50 on that. I didn't really care. I kind of knew that was going to happen. We cut D'Amico Ryans, which I was not very happy about. I thought that was very stupid because we ended up needing linebacker depth. We signed Brandon Brooks, who's a who's a beast. We signed Rodney McLeod, who I like. We signed Nigel Braden, who's also a beast. We signed Leotis McKelvin, who's, eh, he's okay. And we signed Ruben Randall who turned out to, but how they turned out, I'll get to later. Those are the cut, and we traded Kiko Alonso and Byron Maxwell to the Miami Dolphins for in return, and our 13th pick to the Dolphins for their 8th pick. I was very happy about that, because Byron Maxwell and Kiko Alonso, Kiko Alonso, who didn't do shit, and Byron Maxwell, who was overpaid, we were able to send them there. We also traded DeMarco Murray. I was not very happy with that. I was absolutely livid. I was not very happy. I was pissed. But I heard rumors that he actually demanded to be traded. He begged us to trade him. And we traded him to the Titans for their fourth round pick. But... It, but that's as far as the major roster moves and offseason moves we've made. 
Now let's talk about the draft. In the weeks leading up to the draft, we traded this year's first round pick, next year's second round pick, and I believe a fourth round pick of the year after that. I'm not really sure. All I know is we gave up a lot for the second round, for the second pick in the draft. Who I wanted, I wanted either Carson Wentz or Ezekiel Elliott. I primarily wanted Ezekiel Elliott because that dude is an absolute beast. We ultimately drafted Carson Wentz. I was pretty happy about that because we needed a quarterback because, let's be honest, Sam Bradford was not going to get the job done. He's an average quarterback who never really amounted to a damn thing, and he's a goddamn check down Charlie. Let's be real. The dude will not throw. The dude will not take shots down the field. But we, we ended up getting a few dudes in the draft. We ended up getting a Jalen Mills. He he turned out to be he turned about turned out to be a solid player. Ezekiel Elliott ended up going to the Cowboys. We all know how that turned out for them. Pretty well, I might add. And going into the pre- preseason, Ru- Ruben Randall got cut. We ended up trading sorry as Dennis Kelly, six foot eight, six nine, somewhere around there, two hundred, no, three hundred and twenty something pounds, big, big buff dude, couldn't block shit. We ended up getting him for Doral Green Beckham. I'm like, okay, at least one garbage player for one player that was low risk. Okay, and then after that, we traded. After months of Bradford bitching about wanting a trade after we drafted Carson Wentz, we finally got him traded. The Vikings lost Teddy Bridgewater. We traded him there. And we traded Eric Rowe to the New England Patriots, what I thought was a really dumbass move. It looked like Chase Daniel was going to be the starting quarterback. It ended up being Carson Wentz for the Browns. Week one versus the Browns. Offense was balling out. Defense was balling out. Everybody was firing on all cylinders. Touchdown on the opening drive. I'm like, cool. But it's just the Browns. It's not really anybody special. A team that couldn't even get their first win until week 16. Then we faced the Bears. Same result, even though the offense was slow starting. But defense mainly pulled through. Two sorry teams. Our first real test was against Pittsburgh. It looked like we were. It was our first real test. I thought Pittsburgh was gonna whoop our ass. Turns out, we we blew them out, thirty-four to three. Defense was was getting to the ball, was exploding off the line, was wrapping up tackles. Offense was getting improvised touchdowns. Carson Wentz would move out of the pocket to throw touchdowns. After a win versus Pittsburgh, it looked like it looked like we had something. It looked like we had something going. But then the bye came around. And then the Detroit game. Oh my god, dude. The Detroit game, everything went straight to hell. I mean, we kicked it to the Detroit. They marched right down the field. Defense couldn't stop a damn thing. They were, At one point, they was up 21-6. to six. We ultimately lost that game. We came back, took the lead. Ryan Matthews fumbled the damn ball. We ended up losing. And then we dropped another game versus the Redskins because Lane Johnson got suspended and Vitae couldn't block. And then come the Cowboys, we were up 23-13. to 13, And then we let Dallas just come back and beat us in overtime. And I will tell you right now, no bullshit. And this is my honest opinion. Nelson Aguilar single-handedly fucked us out of that Seattle game. That's just my opinion. And I believe a lot would agree with me on that one. You know, he dropped a pass wide open that probably would have resulted in at least a field goal. And there was another touchdown that was called back because he didn't align correctly. 
And then that was the start of our long losing streak. We got our asses blown out versus the Seahawks. We got our asses blown out versus the Packers. The Bengals kicked the shit out of us. I mean, just blew our asses out, 32-14. to 14. There was at one point that it was early in the third quarter that they was up 29 to nothing. And then they won 32 to 14. Our streak, we was able to end that streak first, the Giants. We were able to win the last two and finish strong. All I gotta say is this season was an absolute train wreck. It was a disaster. But I wasn't really expecting anything, but like many other fans, Pittsburgh made us believe that we were something. I want, Peterson's not going to get fired. If he was going to, he would have been fired already. I want Frank Reich fired. I heard he's going to get interviewed by Buffalo. The way I see it, Buffalo can have his sorry ass. And until next, but until next time. In my honest opinion, the real reason DeMarco Murray got traded is because Doug Peterson refuses to run the goddamn football. He will throw the ever-living shit out of it. He always passes. He passes 90% of the time. You have Carson Wentz throwing 60 times a game. He will not run it. We'll see. All I can really do is see what happens in this offseason and what can happen. But until next time, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Instagram. See everyone later.